Why is this dark? It's really dark. Hello, is anybody there? Let's see if I'm live. Oh, here comes somebody. Does the screen look dark to you? Oh, here comes everybody. Hang on, guys. I'm going to find me. It does look dark in oh, here, doesn't here comes it? Somebody. Does the screen look dark to you? Oh, here comes everybody. Hang on, guys. I'm going to find me. It does look dark in here, doesn't oh, it? Oh, look it. I'm in the spotlight. Oh, now I'm brighter. Hang on just a second. I don't know. I think it's probably because that window's open behind me. Oh, let me turn that off. Hi, you guys. Chime in. Let me know where you're coming from. I see uh, I missed Ohio. Sierra's here. Holly from Wyoming. Cindy from Nielsville. Pat. Yeah, I do look a little dark, but you know what? When I turn my camera down for the really important stuff, it's going to look a lot better. I don't know why that just got dark like that. Let me see. Hang on just a second. Let me see if I can offset that a little bit. Did that help? No, it's really weird. Hmm. Well, anyways, the blind behind me is kind of a pain to put down, so I'm just going to leave it alone because I've had enough problems today. <laughs> so I am so sorry about the notice um, over an hour and 15 minutes ago, you guys. That is something I use a software where I can schedule that ahead of time because it's so hard to you know get online at that specific time. So it's a software that I use and I scheduled it for 5.45 instead of 6.45, so I'm so sorry. There's my first mistake for the night. Just proves I'm human, right? I hope so. <laughs> Let me know where you're coming from as you're popping in. I've got some great cards to show you tonight. Let me see, what can I tell you while we're kind of waiting on everybody? You know, I heard another demonstrator um, on a Facebook Live say that she wasn't going to say hi to anybody or or wait until everybody got on because she respected their time. Hmm. Hi, Michael. Um, I respect your time. Please know that. But I do want to get everybody a chance to get on because I always hate to start watching after it started, right? So I do respect your time. I'm not being disrespectful. I love saying hi to everybody. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Patty. Hi, Jody from Avon, Indiana. Nancy, I'm glad to have you with us. Hi, Tammy. So, hi Mary, if you guys follow me, you know that I had my huge stamp sale this weekend. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I do without my helpers. So, first of all, if you guys are watching, thank you so very much. Um, I have a great team that helps me with my used stamp sale every year. And um, this year we had some additional people come in and help with uh packing it back up because we like to sort everything so all the stamp sets are here all the punches are here all the markers are here and and so that takes everybody's stuff and puts it all over the place so packing up a huge stamp sale we had 30 people that brought their stuff to sell at my sale yesterday so woohoo um we had a, our weather here was a little chilly but it was a lot better than earlier in the week because it was super hot, which you guys know I love. I love hot weather, but not when I have to work really hard and um, my, my helpers do not like the hot weather. So I suffered <laughs> a little bit, but they were quite comfortable. So um, the sale went great. We, we uh, at one o'clock, we surpassed our total from last year in sales. So that was awesome. Want to thank everybody who came to the sale because not only do my sellers make it fabulous, my helpers make it fabulous, but all the customers, of course, we need you too. So thank you very much for coming. I'm thinking about doing a BOGO sale a little bit later, um, maybe late summer, and that's a kind of a buy one, get one free. And I'll tell you about that later, but it's pretty cool. And I would just do that with my stuff because I can't give away other people's stuff, right? But... Um, I think that'll be fun. We'll see what happens. We'll see how crazy my summer gets because I always have all these big ideas and whether they really come to fruition or not, whole different story. 
Joanne, you're on Pacific Time. Hi, Haley Atchison. You got everything for free. Yes, you did. Poor college student. We took pity on my daughter and she came and got some cards. <laughs> we let her have them for free. So that was funny. Hi, Karen Wilkinson. I'm glad you can join us. And Kim from Pennsylvania. Julie, yes, yeah, summer does go fast, right? You go ahead and start dinner, Joanne. I'll still be here, so don't worry. It was in the 70s um, in Erie, Michigan. Well, I think it's only in the 60s here. Like, it got really cold. And Marcia, you're on your way back from Wisconsin. So are you traveling right now? So that's kind of cool because I like to watch Facebook Lives if I'm a passenger in a car. That's always fun. So if you joined us late, please chime in with where you're coming from. I do a drawing for prizes in three different categories. One of them is comments. So um, if you at least say hi from upstate New York um, or whatever the case may be, at least you'll get into the comments if you don't have any comments later. I hope you do. Let's see. Let me tell you what's been going on here. Um, if you guys follow me on Facebook on my personal page, you know that I got to go to the Milwaukee Zoo this week with my daughter on a field trip with eighth graders. <laughs> Everybody thought I was insane, but I'll tell you what. It was the best probably field trip I've ever been on. We got to, um, we took a bus to Milwaukee. That was probably the worst part of it was riding on a school bus. But we rode a bus to Milwaukee. We got there. There was only two teachers, Haley and me for adults and one teacher stood up and said be respectful of the smaller kids here have a good time and be back on the bus at 1 15 bye bye and they all got up and left <laughs> so Haley and I got to enjoy the Milwaukee Zoo and they had three babies there they had a baby seal a baby giraffe the seal was just born the day before baby giraffe and the baby monkeys and they were all really cute and hysterical and we got to spend as much time as we wanted. And Lisa, I did not wear my crown. Um, this was Haley's job, so I didn't want to embarrass her too much. Don't worry, though. When it's my birthday and we go someplace, I do wear my crown. And it is a little embarrassing, but I don't really care. It's my special day, right? Hi, Debbie. Hi, Beth. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sharing. The other way that you can win a prize is by sharing this video. And you, I think you can click on that share button right now. So the more shares I get, um, I so appreciate it. Appreciate you guys watching. I think I mentioned last week that we were having new concrete poured. And oh my gosh, it looks so nice. A little panic this week. I was we're, We set up for the used stamp sale on um, Friday morning. We were supposed to get our second slab, like humongous slabs of concrete poured on Wednesday, but it rained. So then we didn't. Oh, thanks, Sharon. I love this shirt, too. These are flowers. They're like, uh, I don't know. They're made out of that see-through-y stuff. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, and I do make Haley wear the crown on her birthday, too. It's like a rule in our family. Well, Steve doesn't have to because that would be a little weird. But, um, anyways, it rained on Wednesday, so they couldn't pour our concrete. So now they're coming Thursday afternoon, so at about 4 o'clock Thursday afternoon, they poured the concrete right in front of the garage where I'm having a stamp sale the next uh, on Saturday, right? So I was a little freaked out, but um, we walked on it Friday morning, and we didn't leave any footprints, and the cement looks great, and they did a fabulous job. So that was very cool. We got that done, and I'll post some pictures. Um, I live in a super-duper old house. My house was built in 1900. And so we, we've made improvements when we first bought it, and then we got kind of sick of it. You know, there's just so much that needs to be done. You're just like, Ugh, who cares? And you don't even see it anymore. But now we're starting to make some improvements again since we paid for the last college tuition payment. <laughs> so that'll free up a little cash. Um, the sale was awesome. Um, let's see, what else did I want to tell you? Do, do, do. Oh, I have a new online class on my blog. And Irene, I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, I have an online class using the Abstract Impressions Bundle. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I'm going to make another card with it tonight. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. What is an online class? Well, I have eight cards plus a bonus card. So usually my online classes are eight cards, but I've got one extra in this particular class. And there, is, there are photographs of each card a video tutorial for each card, 
dimensions for each card in a project sheet and also some brief written instructions. And you get all of this in one PDF. And um, there's a link on my blog where you can order the PDF. It's $20 and I email it to you. Now, the second way you can do it is you can get that whole $20 class for free when you order a specific um, bundle of items from me and that's also on my blog. It's the stamp set. Um, with the thinlets, with the designer series paper, with some ribbon, and oh, I can't remember what else is in it. But um, if you order the bundle from me, that is, and I will do it for you, you just fill out the form on my blog, that will get emailed to me, and I will contact you and send you a face or um, PayPal invoice for it. So that's how that works. Then you get the class for free. So I will um, talk a little bit more about that later. My hostess code for um, this Facebook Live is QE27QSBE, and I'll show that to you in just a minute. First of all, I wanted to show you, I got a card from my, my internet friend, Sharon Jones. She is always um, following me on YouTube and my blog and Facebook, and I think her and I could be really good in-person friends because she's got a good sense of humor and she's a little sassy and I really like that. But first of all, here's the envelope that I, well, let me, oh yeah, her address isn't on there. Mine is, you guys all know my address. Here's um, the envelope that I got with this motorcycle on it. And then here's the card and it says, ride like a boss. And then the inside says, four wheels move the body and two wheels move the soul. So she said, um, I figured since y'all were into motorcycles now, and Sharon is from Louisiana, since y'all are into motorcycles now, I would fix you up with a card to match. Have fun and be safe. Hugs from Louisiana. So that is just so sweet. Thank you so much, Sharon. I really appreciate that. And then Irene wanted to know, have I been for any more Harley rides? No. I didn't. Oh, thanks, Becky. I haven't seen you in a long time. My hair is really growing out. Hi, Rose. Um, I just went for that one ride and then the next day we were too busy to go for a ride, but we planned on it. And then it, then it was, I don't know what happened, but we didn't go for any more rides and then it got cold. I know, Irene. I know. I keep bugging him. So, um, I have a confession to make. I missed my nephew's birthday on June 1st. We were at the zoo and I said to Haley, we need to Snapchat Jake, happy birthday. And then something happened and we didn't and then we never did and now I'm a loser aunt and I'm his godmother. Oh, I know, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make him a card. I'll put some extra money in it for my um, bad behavior and um, maybe Steve and I can deliver it because he just lives um, in the next town over. So that would be fun. I know, Sharon, right? Uh-oh, loser aunt. I always make his birthday and this time I blew it. But... Uh, I think you'll be okay with the extra cash. <laughs> He's a college student, so you can always use the extra cash. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my camera around. And um, yes, Kathy, I do want to ride when it's really hot. We did that last week. It was fabulous. Um, remember, we love the hot weather. So, okay, glad I'm at work when it's on the way. I can't... What show, Debbie, are you talking about? You can't stand that show. Yeah, and Jody, money makes up for everything. Oh, and I'd like to welcome Jody Peterson tonight. Jody just signed up. Um, she bought a starter kit last night. Excited to have you on my team. Jody's going to be a discount shopper where she will receive a 20% discount. Um, and then she might do a little bit more with it, she said. So whatever you choose, Jody, I'm happy to have you on my team and you get all the perks from me. So that's super fun. Okay, flipping around my phone now, and the ambiance background. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl, woohoo! Um, hang with me. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes, and I'll let you know when to open them again. I am going to have to mess around with my stand because I kind of put it, I have it at a different angle tonight. So hang tight. You're going to see my ceiling and my ugly ceiling fan. Hi, Arliss, you haven't missed much. Okay, here we go. And don't open your eyes yet, but I did notice that 
Oh, hang on. I did notice that some of you wanted me to um, zoom in a little bit last week, and that makes me very, very nervous, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's easy to disconnect this feed. So I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit here, and then you guys have to yell at me if I'm off camera with what I'm doing. Yeah, see, it doesn't want to zoom in. Oh, there we go. Is that too much? Yeah, I think it is. Hang with me. If we get disconnected, you come back on. Now I can't get it to... Hang on, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so maddening. Oh, thanks. Thanks, you guys, for the thumbs up there. Okay, well now we're really zoomed in, so I hope you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, there's my host code. Okay, we have some prizes to award from last week. And um, are we straight now? Yes, we are. I'm gonna try one more time to zoom back out. It just doesn't want to. I'm never doing this again. Hang on, I'm gonna close your eyes again. Ooh, 138 are watching me. Thanks, Haley. Nope, it does not want to zoom back out. Doggone it. Whoa. Technical difficulties. Hang tight. There we go. Okay, I'm done messing around. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Carol, perfect for your old eyes. Mary prefers the zoom. Well, but I hope I can get everything in here because this is pretty close up. All right, so prizes we have to give away. First of all, we have for um, a comment on the last Facebook Live is Katie Getsky from Wapaka, Wisconsin. You're going to get a roll of this fabulous organza ribbon. Um, there are 10 yards on here and you can dye this with your Stampin' Blends works best. But you can also dye it with markers or ink pad or a dauber in ink or anything. This is fabulous ribbon. So congratulations, Katie. Thank you for your comments. And Tracy Scheller, I don't know if you're on watching tonight or not, but I saw you yesterday at my stamp sale. Tracy's from Oshkosh. I haven't seen her in a very long time. I was so happy to see her again. And she is going to get a pack of the Picture Perfect Party 6x6 Designer Series paper. So woohoo! And then for the orders last week, we have Rose Bell from Grandview, Washington. You're going to get this bird banter stamp set. This is a really fun um, little stamp set with some little pun greetings in it. I think you'll really enjoy it. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to share my video, comment on the video, and you also will get entered into a drawing for placing an online order with me. And you can find my um, blog at www.astampabove.com. This is the host code you want to use if your order is under $150. Now with a brand new catalog coming out, keep in mind, if you have a wish list around $100, you're better off buying our discount shopper kit. That will give you a 20% discount on future orders. Um, if you need information on that, let me know. I'll be happy to send it to you. I've got a link on my blog. It's in the right-hand column that talks about starter kits. That's our discount shopper kit. You can be a business builder. You can be a discount shopper. Whatever you choose to be, you'll love being on my team. I provide a lot of little perks for my um, demonstrators, whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper. So keep that in mind. Here's my naughty note to myself. Jake, birthday, sad face, bad aunt. <laughs> Okay, let's get started stamping. I am going to bring in the abstract impressions. Now this is the bundle I'm talking about that I have an online class for. And make sure that if you ask me a question that you yell at me if I don't answer you because it's hard to go from here to my computer screen to see what's going on and what's being asked. So be persistent, okay? Never a better time than to be really pushy <laughs> than with your comments. So this is the Garden Impressions 6x6 Designer Series paper, you guys. This is so fun and colorful. 
It is absolutely perfect for summer, and I love these vivid, gorgeous colors, and the patterns are just outstanding. So I'm gonna make another card with this. I've already shared a card on my blog. I'm gonna show you, oh, if you missed it, this was the double triangle card that I made. I think this was for my Friday video. And it was also introducing the bundle for my online class. So isn't that pretty? Love these colors. This is the Mango Melody. Mmm, delicious. Love it, love it, love it. I hope that lawnmower outside isn't making you crazy. It's getting on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> my husband came home. He went away for the weekend while I had my sale, which was fabulous, I might add. And um, so now he's back trying to catch up. He had to vacuum the pool and mow the lawn and... I don't know, he was out there scrubbing the concrete, whatever. <laughs> That'll be his new obsession. This little box is also made with the designer series paper. This was a gift from my friend Barb. It uses the new uh, sea foam. what's that color called? It's gonna take me a while to get used to these colors, but it's sea foam something or another. Oh good, Rose, thank you. You cannot hear the lawnmower, that's good. Um, but I just thought this was so stinking adorable. This is our Calypso Coral Ombre Ribbon. And I hope you can see that it's um, got an ombre effect on it. It's lighter on one side and then it goes darker as it goes across. But super, super cute. Then, let's see, I'm going to need my Big Shot die brush here for this project. Whoops, I just made a big mess. I don't know, if some of you are new tuning in... This is the box that the Big Shot die brush comes in. I actually have two of them. I have another one in um, a paper pumpkin box, which is fabulous. But I keep my um, um, paper piercer and my brush right in here. And when I um, use it, I just take all the bits and go like that and put it in here so you don't have bits all over the place unless you spill it, which I just did. So par for the course today. And let's see. So, here's what I did. Remember this card that I got from Jody? Uh, was that just last week? Yeah. Um, this card I got from Jody, and let me see, she told me what it was called. It's called a pull out fun fold card. So, I made a card using this bundle in Jody's um, and Jody's template. So, I did some measuring and figured this out so I could make one with this bundle. And let's get out our cardstock pieces here. I've got some very, very pretty paper here to use. And I will give you all the dimensions. If you want to, you can write them down. But if you don't want to write them down, don't sweat it because I will have all the cards that I'm making today on my blog as well as um, the dimensions under each card that I'm making too. And I'll post this video on there. Okay, I'm getting the bits out. There were some bits stuck in my stamp. We're also gonna use a little bit of Dazzling Diamonds. And, hang on. Oh, in case you guys didn't notice, I'll throw it right out there. Lost a nail this week, bent it back all the way up to here and the whole thing, well, my fingernail's still there, but you know, my fake nail fell right off. Ugh, it hurt too. I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Hang on, I'm just grabbing the other die. So, along with the um, stamp set, the beautiful paper, is this set of dies that are so gorgeous. Look at that big butterfly. Cute little flower, and then this corner flower arrangement. We're gonna use that on a card in a minute. Not on this card. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you know what these cardstock layers are. We've got a piece of Melon Mambo. And if you have any questions about where I'm getting my color combinations from, right on the front of our 6x6 designer series paper and our 12x12, it tells you right here what colors coordinate with this. Oh, and that green for this box, that was soft sea foam. <laughs> I'll, get these, I'll get these names down, don't worry. So I've got a piece of Melon Mambo that's four and a quarter by five and a half. A piece of um, Mango Melody that is four by nine and five eighths. And you guys don't panic. This card that I'm gonna show you how to do the scoring and where to cut it, it's super duper easy. You're gonna love it. 
And then I've got a scrap of our gold foil paper. And then the layers that go on the front inside of our card. And there we go. So we need one for the, and I'm gonna label these. So let me show you. This is going to be panel number one. This is two and three, four and five and six, okay? So panel number one is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Panel number two and three are the same and they are two inches by two and a quarter. Oh, I just bent that. And then panel four and five, I almost got my numbers mixed up. It's kind of like math and math is hard. Um, <laughs> You need two of those at one and a quarter by two inches. And then the last panel, number six, is one and seven eighths by three and three quarters. Okay, so I'm just gonna set these aside for a minute. We've also got a mango melody scrap for our flower. Now I'm gonna bring my big shot in here. And we are going to cut this out. Let me move this out of the way. Let me make sure that I'm still in my screen. And yeah, it's tight, but I am. Okay, I'm gonna turn one more one more light on in my in my room. It's starting to get a little darker in here. Hang on. If I showed you my room, you guys would all just like go, oh my gosh. I guarantee you would gasp. After my new sale and everything I've had going on, it's a disaster, but I do plan on cleaning it out. I know I say that every week. <laughs> I'm really gonna do it, I promise. Okay, I need one little flower out of the Mango Melody, so I'm gonna stick that down at the end so I don't waste this, because I can use that much for something else, right? <laughs> we are such skimpers. Hi, Cheryl from Australia. Oh, thank you for telling me to plug the phone in. Oh, I almost forgot. Who told me that? Oh my gosh, you're an angel, thank you. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my butterfly right here. Now, if you don't know this, this is a good little tip. When you have intricate dies like this, if you put them on one side or the other to run them through, you will get a better cut. If you have any problems, if you put them in the middle, just take it and look at the back. If it's not cut out all the way, move it over to the side and run it through again. Because I find that sometimes my big shot needs to be on the side, the image needs to be on the side versus in the middle, just for the intricate ones. These these little things, well, this is kind of intricate, but it works fine. But that butterfly I would consider to be very, very intricate. So I'm gonna leave my butterfly right on here. Hang on while I set this aside. And I'm gonna bring in my Big Shot dye brush. I'll tell you guys, before we had this dye brush, when I saw these kinds of intricate um, dyes, I was like, Ugh. did you like that? <laughs> like my sound effects. <laughs> I was just so over poking all this stuff out. And I should have looked at this in the back because, yep, it looks like it didn't cut all the way. It did before when I ran it, so just hang tight. I'm gonna run it again and I'll show you that. I think last time I ran it through and then back. So, and I'm gonna use my magnetic platform, which is right here. I don't know, sometimes I think my magnetic platform is just a little teeny, teeny fraction thicker and it works better. Now, you would think this would be lost. It didn't cut all the way on the back, but no, no, no. We don't wanna waste our gold foil paper. You're going to just set it right back in place and it'll kinda of click right back in there. And now I'm gonna run it through and I'm gonna make sure I've got it over here on the edge good. Get that out of the way. Here we go. Sharon, that happens to you sometimes too? Yeah. Um, I did not ever get my Big Shot or my bottle cap die out of my Big Shot. Thank you for asking, but no, I didn't. It's still in there. And I did shake it around, but you know what? My friend Barb, actually had an extra one because she just got an extra one in her set and so she sent it to me. Bless her heart. That's what good friends are for. There we go. Now this is all falling out like it should. I should have looked at the back. Always look at the back. Look at that. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hang on, we got one little piece there. Whoop, boom. <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. And it doesn't stick in here either, which is a huge bonus because I hate all that futzing around, right? Makes me crazy. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna do my little flower too. I could just poke it out with the pokey tool, but I've got my big shot thing here, so why not use it, right? Da -da -da. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You know where I got that from? I got that from Bonnie Thurber at a convention. She was on stage demonstrating something and she said, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And oh my gosh, I thought it was so cute. And I'm really going to miss her because she's no longer with us. Okay, here we go. Mango Melody. This is what you're going to do to your Mango Melody. I don't know if I need this out or not. I can't remember. But we are going to do the scoring now. We're going to score at three inches, five and a quarter, and seven and a half. So I did need my arm out. Okay, that's it. Three inches, five and a quarter, seven and a half. Boom. Now we're going to take it this way and we're going to cut it. So we're going to measure up one and a quarter inches. Nope, sorry. Scratch that. We're going to measure up one and a half inches and cut from this outside score to the other outside score. So one and a half inches. And I'm going to bring in my cutting blade and I'm going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. I am going to pop that in and I'm going to cut it over to that last score line. So from first score line to the last score line, boom, done. This is just how easy this is. And again, I had to message Jody and ask her what the name of this card was. It's a pull out fun fold. That's what she told me. Okay, so now this one is gonna go in. This one's gonna pop out. Um, that's going to stay, okay, just like this. See that? So you're making a box there. Just like that. Fold it over. There we go. And all you do now is decorate. Ha! Ah, isn't this fun? Now, I think I've made one like this before, but I think this one's just a little bit different. And of course, you guys know I am just a sucker for a fun fold. I love, love, love them. Okay, we're gonna do just a tad bit of stamping here. This is the layer that is for my outside, my last layer. This is layer number six as I was giving you all of those. We're gonna use the brand new blueberry bushel. And I've been thinking it in my head all day, blueberry buckle. So if I call it blueberry buckle, it's really blueberry bushel, you know what I mean. <laughs> but I'm sure I will call it blueberry buckle. And maybe I'll just call it blueberry buckle because it's a lot more fun than blueberry bushel. Here we go. Just going to stamp that right on there. And the cool thing about this is it's going to show even when the card is closed. Let me close that up. Then um, I've seen this online and I saw my friend Barb do it this week. And I thought it was super cute. And she said she got it from somebody else. But I'm going to take this little flower and I'm going to put one of our mini dimensionals right over the center hole. Okay, so it's sticky there now. And that's what I have my Dazzling Diamonds for. I'm going to take a little bit of my glitter, put it on that center piece. I'm going to push it in. Now remember, I didn't take the backing off of this at all. Push it in there, flick it off, and we have a cute little glitter center. I hope you can see that. Blueberry buckle is scrumptious, Arliss says. Yes, it is. <laughs> and I like that name better. Okay, are we ready to put our card together? Uh, one more thing I have to do here. I'm going to put a mini dimensional on my little butterfly. Well, it's a big butterfly. Here we go, super, super simple. I'll start with this panel number six, add a little bit of liquid glue to that, and I'm gonna put this in here. Now you could make these layers with um, a 16th of an inch border, and that's what Jody did. Hers is different colors, and it's really um, very soft with the vanilla and uh, crumb cake. 
Mine is a little more bold and vibrant, so I made my um, these layers have a little bit more bo border on them. And then next we are going to put in, whoops, these little panels. And I could have, of course, taken white cardstock and stamped these all up too, which would be fun. And I wanted to do that, but I kind of ran out of time today. It was, um, yeah, I had a lot going on. So yesterday after my used stamp sale, well, first of all, Friday, we got done setting it all up. And I don't know if it was like 1.30 or 2 o'clock. It took us a long time. Every time we thought we were finished, we found bins of stuff that still needed to be put out. And we're like, are you kidding me? But anyways, we went over to the, um, there's a Mexican restaurant, right? Kind of across the street, across the park from my house. So we went and had Mexican lunch. I had a chimichanga. And um, I know that's not on my diet plan, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it, right? And thanks, Sharon. You love the different patterns. I do too. And they all go together so pretty. Um, and we had a strawberry margaritas. And oh, it was just a wonderful lunch with my helpers. And um, why was I telling you that story? Oh, I know. Okay. So then... Oh my gosh, squirrel. Um, so then I came home and it was probably about three o'clock. So I slept from three to seven. That's right. I slept like a rock. And I always say I sleep like a rock star. And then I got up and did some work and went to bed probably about 1230. Then I was up 630 in the morning for my stamp sale. Oh, check that out. Woo. We were all done with the stamp sale by 6.30 or by 4.30 on Saturday and I went and ran some errands, got home about 7. No, I got home earlier than that. I fell asleep at 7 o'clock and I didn't wake up till 11. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And then I was up till 2.30 working. So, yeah. Um, I love doing that in the middle of the night. It's kind of my thing. Look at that. Look at, isn't it delicious? Okay, we got one more thing to do. Okay, so here's the back, you guys. You're just going to put some adhesive, whatever you use. I use liquid glue. And you're just going to put that on there. I'm going to hold this all together. Put this on our Melon Mambo layer to finish it up. And oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Okay, now somebody told me to tell them about something. Don't forget to tell us about the other option for your class. Um, there's two options for my class, Linda. There's the online class that you can buy from me for $20, or you can buy this bundle, which includes this and the designer series paper and the um, thinlets. And then some ribbon, and I can't remember what else is included in the bundle. If you um, fill out the form, I will order all of this for you, and you'll get the class for free. Yay! Okay, so abstract impressions. Yeah, so um, you can sign your name in here if you want, or you can do all your writing on the back here, because that's what Jody did on hers. So, yeah. Very cool. I love this. I love this stamp set. I love the paper. Um, it just screams summer to me. What about you? Okay. I did deserve the chimichanga and the nap, right? So I have to tell you guys, I'm down 10 pounds, even with eating a chimichanga and a strawberry margarita. Yes. I haven't been getting my exercise every day, but I did put in like 16,000 steps on Friday, 16,000 steps on Saturday with the sale. Today, I went no place. So what do my steps say today? They say, get off your butt, 3,000. Well, there you go. I've been working all day, having a lot of fun. This is, this is the funnest part of my job is all this creating that I just absolutely love. Okay, are you ready for the next card? Um... Here we go. Well, I think we're still gonna use the blue here. We're gonna use the detailed framelit. Oh, oh, I'm bringing in the varied vases stamp set. Yay, this was really fun. I had fun making this card. And here's all my little tools. Let me get out my cardstock pieces here. Da -da -da -da. And where's my card so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's always helpful, right? 
Okay, we are going to use this framelit, thinlet, whatever you want to call it. And here's a couple more. Okay, here we go. Now, I love both sides of this paper. Oh, do I have the wrong paper? Ah, I do have the wrong paper. Oh no, I'm gonna do a different one. I've got another card to show you that's a different color. Oh my gosh, that just scared me. I'm like, what did I screw up? But I did not screw up anything yet. So just hang tight. This Varied Bases stamp set also comes as a bundle with this punch. So, oh my gosh, super, super cute, amazing stuff. Um, this is a Million Dollar Achiever stamp set. Mary Fish designed this, and I am super thrilled with it. I absolutely love all the little elements in here. All right, we are going to die cut these flowers out of the Blueberry Buckle, otherwise known as Blueberry Bushel. <laughs> I'm going with the buckle. I think I'm just going to stick with the buckle. And I am going to do the same thing I did with the butterfly. Whoops, I'm right-handed. Let me turn this around. Make sure I've got you in the screen frame. Ooh, hang on. I had to turn on my fan. I'm getting hot now. Yay, hot flashes. Woohoo! <laughs> Never a dull moment. Okay, so I am going to put this right over to the side of my blueberry buckle. <laughs> you guys know what it's called. And I'm going to push this over as far as I can to, remember I said one side or the other on the big shot. So here's what I did to get this cut out really nice. Running this through on my magnetic platform. Mm. Becky loves the bases too, I do too. And then I am going to turn this and run this part through on the side. So up once, turn it, run it back through. Okay, and now we're gonna make sure before we do anything that it is completely cut. And you can see that it is completely cut. It cut fabulously. So let's get this out of the way. I know I don't usually show you guys a lot of big shot stuff, but because of these intricate dies, I just want to give you the tips that I'm aware of so that you have all the tools to be successful with this and not get frustrated because poking out all these things, I would want to poke my eyes out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you can, if you leave your die on here, you can be really aggressive with this little die brush. If you take your die off, you have to be a little more careful because let's be real, this is just paper. Okay. Look at that. Look at all the little bits that came out. If you don't have one of these die brushes, you hop on over to my store and you get yourself one right away because they changed my die cutting life. You guys, I would have, this would have never interested me because I am not picking out all that stuff. So, you know, how some people don't like to color. I love to color. Some people don't like to fussy cut. I'm fine with that, but I do not like poking this stuff out. It makes me crazy. Picking a couple things out, not a big deal. But poking all this out, blah. Okay. There we go. Get these last two off of here. Beautiful. Okay. Let me put this aside. And then, Karen loves to color. I love coloring too. It's just very relaxing for me. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I have got a piece of four and a quarter by 11 whisper white thick cardstock, and I always use the thick for my bases because I want them to be good and sturdy. And then um, I've also got, I cut this out of our Stitched Shapes Framelits. Yes, that's what they're called, Stitched Shape Framelits. We're gonna do a little bit of stamping here. So I am going to stamp my vases, or my vase, I should say, in Memento Black. I'm just gonna kinda put it right down here. Now, this is a very delicate line. You don't wanna be like squishing this. Everybody wants to squish so hard. It's gonna be ugly. Just test it out. Test out that pressure to see how you get the best image on your scrap paper. Because I guarantee you'll be a lot happier with it. 
Then I'm going, I've got the two flowers here and I am going to stick my head in the camera so I can get my flowers in the vase. <laughs> it's kind of important. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let this dry for just a little bit. Now I've got a genuine scrap here. Look at that, it's all die cut on the end there. I'm going to stamp my little thanks. Now you could make this a little bit longer and you could stamp happy birthday on here. Um, where's our stamp set? We've got birthday wishes, thanks, hello, hoping your day blooms with happiness and you are simply the best. So you could stamp any of these on a banner depending on what you need. Now this is just a half an inch and I'm gonna stamp my little thanks there and get my scissors. I'm gonna, what am I doing here? I'm gonna just cut this off. Usually I don't take a chance on getting that crooked but I'm feeling pretty brave tonight. <laughs> Yes, I am. And then I'm going to cut a banner end here. And yes, I could have put this in my template for my um, triple banner punch, but guess what? This is a really short piece, so that would be kind of tricky. There we go. Okay. All right. Next, I need a mini dimensional, and I'm just going to put it on the banner end, the end that I just cut the little divot in, just like that. So we're ready to roll with that. And we were doing all that because I was waiting for this to dry. We're gonna use an aqua painter and some color on it. You guys know Memento ink is really not a water coloring ink. But, oh, tip for you. So the new ink pads, um, here's a really good tip. You know baby wipes wipe these clean. If you get ink on them any place, it comes right off. But if you, to, you know, to squish some um, ink into the lid so we can then color with it, Gosh, I can't even remember how to open the old ones. Um, you know, to get ink in there, we just squish like this. Well, with these new pads, squish from the back, and you're going to have great success with that. The front covers are a little harder, so they don't squish in, but the back squishes, and that works perfect. So I'm going to bring this in. Oh, I'm not paying attention to my Sunday games at 8, weeknight at 9, I thought it was, oh. I don't know, Donna, dress, what you're talking about, so you're going to have to clarify that. Um, I need to pay attention to my questions or my comments, right? Great tip. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit, and you guys know I always like to kind of have a tissue, just in case I have too much water in my aqua painter. I want this to be a little more diluted. I don't want it to be real dark. I want it to be kind of faint, and I'm going to put the water in my vase. Just gonna kind of slide it down here. Do, 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 do. And then maybe I want the side over here to be just a little bit darker. I don't know. Okay, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, we're gonna clean that off. And then you guys know I'm a little funny about having things just like hanging out there in midair. So I'm going to put a little shadow under it. It just looks like it has something to sit on. I don't know. Call me crazy. Lots of people do. I'm good with it. Okay, and then you also have these little flowers. So I'm going to do some blueberry on those. I'm going to stamp them off once. And then I'm going to stamp them right over top. And because this set is photopolymer, oh, I got that one a little crooked, but it'll be fine. Because this set is photopolymer, of course, you can see through it and it's wonderful. And how many of you are loving this new chamois? Oh, Kathy, okay, your Cleveland Caves are playing Golden State in a basketball playoffs, I gotcha. Of course, that makes all the sense in the world. So I've been using this chamois and I love it. It really gets your stamps clean with just a couple bounces in it. I'm pretty happy with that thing. Um, I'm actually ordering three more so that I have them for my stamp groups, my clubs, because we're going to be using them. All right, now we are going to put this oval on a couple dimensionals, just like this, and I'm just going to set that aside. We're going to bring in our little silicone craft mat, and did you see me stick it to the bottom of my plate? Yes, I did. <laughs> Of course I did. Um, let me set this aside. Get a little bit of glue. 
on a plastic plate or whatever, a non-porous surface, that's all you need. And I've got a um, clip with a sponge, and now I'm going to bring in the back of my delicate die. Now you wanna kinda of hold this in place and not move it around because you're getting ink on the silicone sheet. I mean not ink, you're getting glue on the silicone sheet. So if you move it around, you're gonna get glue on the front of your flowers and you definitely don't want that. And I see I got a little bit I picked up. Hang on, get that little bugger right out of there. Doesn't wanna leave. Okay, and then this will just wipe right off. Okay, those are very cool. And then somebody gave me a tip last week that um, wash this out when you're done and then next time you go to use it, it won't be so darn sticky that it keeps picking up your cardstock. Check this out. Um, yeah, is this not gonna be absolutely gorgeous? Uh-huh, it is. There we go, it's all stuck down. Where's my white? Right here. Okay, I am going to glue this onto the front. And again, this is the designer series paper that goes with this whole bundle. It's simply delicious and perfect for summer. Here comes our cute little vase of flowers. And I'm gonna put that right in the middle. And then I thought I had a wink of Stella out here someplace. Where did that go? Wait, hang on. Oh, this one says it has some in it. I hope it's empty too. Oh, well, let's see if we can get some out. I'm just gonna color my flowers a little bit with some Wink of Stella. Oh, this one's empty too. Hang on, you guys. I had one out. What did I do with it? Maybe I put it in the wrong bin. Oh, I did. <gasps> Don't worry. I just found it. Not empty. I emptied one out at my stamp clubs this month. So we're just gonna do that. I think I'm gonna take my aqua painter and paint in that flower because it's bothering me. I don't know if you can see it because I know the clarity on these videos is not real good on Facebook Live, but I kind of was off on my flower, so I just added some ink there. Yeah. Okay, next, here's our little thanks. Now remember, I only put one dimensional on here. Hi, Colleen Miller. I'm glad you came to the party. Late is better than never. Yeah, clear glaze for the vase would be nice too, Sharon. And you can do that with your, um, what is that little ink, that glue pen? The, um, hang on, I'll show it to you. Because I found some. I couldn't find mine the other day. The fine tip glue pen, or bottle, or whatever it's called. Fine, yeah, fine tip glue pen, I was right. You can actually make this look like glass, so that's fun. Okay, so we have this. This is the outside of our card. What do you guys think? Isn't that just like striking? The colors are beautiful. And then, since this says thanks, I am going to go with black ink. And let's see if I can dip my card in it. That would be just grand. You are simply the best. Here we go. <gasps> Yay! This is the part that makes me really nervous because this is how mistakes happen really easy, right? If I already got our card glued together, if I mess it up now, then what? And last but not least, where did our, here's our little flowers. We'll get out that blueberry again. Thank you guys so much. And I'm gonna stamp this off once. Let's see if I can do better. Let me put this down. Oh, I did, I did, look, look, perfect. Did I drop that in the gray ink? No. <laughs> I thought I did and then I was gonna, I wasn't gonna cry. I smashed my truck up last week and didn't cry with that. I'm certainly not gonna cry over some ink on a card, right? <laughs> Suck it up, Kelly. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks, you guys, for sharing my video. I really appreciate it. And let's see, what else are we going to make? I don't think we need our blue anymore. We might need the gray, though. I'll leave that right over here. Let me get this stamp cleaned so I don't drop something in it. 
Um, that was Vivid Vases. Absolutely adorable. And I combined it with the Springtime Impressions um, Thinlet Dyes that go with the Abstract Impressions. All right, next, I have another super cute card using the... Oh, I call that Vivid Vases. It's Varied Vases. I'm sorry. We used to have a stamp called Vivid Vases, and I knew I was going to get stuck on that. It's kind of like last week I was stamping pineapples, but for some reason I kept calling them pumpkins. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing ever. Yeah. My mind works in very crazy ways. Nobody understands it, including me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We have... Um, I always want to call this certainly celery too. We have pear pizzazz. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We have two pieces of whisper white that are four by five and a quarter. And then a piece of calypso coral that is three and three quarters by five. Another one of the stitch shape ovals. Um, a half inch piece of some more of the garden impression designer series paper and a half inch piece of the pear pizzazz for a banner. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring this in. I think I can get this out of the way now. And oh, I've got pearls falling all over. Here's our stamps. Pokey tool, little burlap ribbon. I actually use tear tape on this one, which I don't do very often. And then I have a little tip to share with you with the punch. Oh, that's what I needed these stamps for. So, if you take a piece of cardstock and put it in the punch and punch it, this is what you're going to get. So you've got three different bases, a little flower, and I think this is like a saucer maybe to go under, or it can be a leaf. I'm not really sure what it is because I haven't gotten to use this very much, but I'll figure it out and make sure you guys know. But you can take this and you can position your stamps right on a block. So do you see what I've done here? Position your stamps right on a block and they'll all fit right in here. So now I can stamp this on a piece of cardstock, slide it into my punch, and punch all of them out at the same time. Isn't that cool? That's a nifty little idea. Now, when I did this, okay, I took my stamps and I held them up to the back of the opening and then pushed them down on here so they're right over these again. It was a little fussy, it was a little putsy, but I made it happen. So you have to, you know, you have to kind of keep it sucked up to the top here. And there we go, ta-da! So that's really cool. I'm gonna use this like this, cause then, you know, you could punch like a bunch of Bermuda Bay. You could do a stamp one in Bermuda Bay and stamp one in Lemon Lime Twist and stamp one in Blueberry and then mix and mingle them to make all different kinds of cards. So there you go. All right, next. Um, I am going to, this is my card base, so I'm just gonna fold it in half here. I think what I'm gonna do is get the inside ready to roll. And I am going to use Calypso Coral Ink. Clever, right? That's right. Oh, it's a light streak on the side of the vase. Do you think that's what that is? Oh, I think you're right. Really? It's kind of big. I don't know. I'll try that, though. Not tonight, but I will try it because I kind of am like, I don't know if that's a plate for under the vase or just what's going on. All right, we're going to stamp our greeting. It says, hoping your day blooms with happiness. Doesn't everybody need their day to bloom with happiness? I, I could use some blooming days of happiness. I shouldn't say that. Almost every day of my life is happy. I'm a happy person. Okay, then you guys know what I'm gonna do with this strip because I like to decorate those insides. I think a lot of us neglect them and it's not fair <laughs> to the insides of your card. <laughs> Okay, now I sound like a complete lunatic, like my card has feelings. <laughs> well, decorate the insides. <laughs> Make people smile when they open it, too. I get that out of the way. 
I love these colors together. I think they're just very striking. And doesn't the pear pizzazz look like super bright up against this Calypso coral? Oh my gosh. Oh, and Jewel says she's seen that little um, sliver used as a leaf too. Mary shows it as a leaf. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks, Cindy. I love this stamp set. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Share What You Love embossing folder. Thank you guys for ordering that bundle from me, the ones that you have. I think you're absolutely going to love, love, love having all those elements. So I am going to run this through my Big Shot just like this. And I'll just bring it right in here and do it for you guys, as long as we're doing lots of Big Shot stuff tonight. I have to change platforms here. I only need one cutting plate. And I've got a really old platform with the tabs yet. My other Big Shots are at my class location, so. I leave two big shots there and keep two at home. That's where my other new platforms are. And you're gonna run this through. Bah, I just lost a card over the edge of the abyss. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'll be able to find it later. My room's not that bad. Okay, but I do plan on going through it and like, if I haven't touched stuff in my closet, which is full, like I never get anything out of my closet, like never, hardly. Um, if I haven't used it, it's gone. It's, it's out of here. I wanna get my new furniture in here, but I can't do that until I get this place cleaned out, right? Okay, so here's this. Then I'm gonna take that other white piece and I'm going to, oh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, okay, I'm fine. I'm gonna glue this layer down to my white layer and then I'm gonna wipe the glue off my thumb because I just stuck it right in there. Yep, I knew that was bound to happen. Okay, there we go, pretty so far, right? And where did my card base go? Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna put this on, and then we'll add the final touches. Isn't that pretty? I, I was just gonna do the Calypso Coral on the Pear Pizzazz, but I thought, oh, that white would make it pop. I think that really makes it pop, right? Oh, who loves something about me? <laughs> That's funny. I see um, Sharon saying, Diane, that's what I love about her. <laughs> How sweet. I don't know what you love about me, but I love being loved. So there you have it. All right, now I am going to take the punch, which is right here, and I am going to punch out one vase out of the designer series paper. I'm still using that um, garden impression designer series paper. So I've got one cute little vase here. I'm gonna put some mini dimensionals on my vase. I think I'll put one right down here and one right up here. Okay, then I'm gonna make a triple bow and I have just a tiny bit of linen thread left in this pack and I'm so proud of myself for using the end of it. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, and it is just the right size. I'm like, oh, maybe it's going to be too short. Okay. You guys have seen me do these bows a gazillion times, but I just wrapped it around there three times, and now it's just super duper cute. And I am going to take the ends and curl them just a little bit with my bone folder. And then, hello, mini blue dot. Mini glue dot. I'm gonna roll this up because linen thread is really small and I don't want that mini glue dot sticking out under from underneath my bow. There we go. And there we go. And then here's what I did. I took a pencil because you guys know I'm pretty anal. I set my vase down here. And you want to get it fairly close to the bottom. Well, I would like to get it straight. And I'm just going to draw a little mark right there. So that's where my flowers need to go. <laughs> and my flowers are... I'm using the stem. There's just a single stem in here. So there's the single stem right there. So then you can put any of these flowers on your own stem. And then there's little leaves. There's a the background leaf, the outline leaf. Oh my gosh, there's just so, so many little elements in here. 
and I'm using pear pizzazz. So, oh, and the other thing that I wanted to do was kind of make sure that my stems don't go down below where my vase is. And they really shouldn't, but I'm just gonna guarantee that because the vase is solid. There's one. I'm gonna make this one taller. And then one more. Now remember, you gotta keep these, oh, I, I know, I turned it around, so now it's going that way. Gotta keep these inside your vase. There we go. Okay, let's see how I did. Okay, flowers. I've got Calypso Coral, and I'm using the outline um, scribbly one and the solid one. So when I stamp the solid one, I'm gonna stamp off first. Oh, I put it up a little high. Dang it. Well, that'll be okay. And then stamp off. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? And here's one more. And then I'm going to uh, do the, <laughs> do you hear that? Uh, let me clean that. Da, da, da. I'm gonna do this one. Now, here's what I noticed. At the first time I inked this stamp up, I like pushed too hard and I got ink all over. So then when I went to try to line it up, there was ink and I couldn't see through it. So again, this is a very detailed little lines. Don't push too hard, then you'll be able to see through so you can get this lined up just perfectly. <gasps> oh, I pushed it too hard again. There we go. And I know I'm sticking my head in the camera, but sometimes we have to do that. Thank goodness I dyed my grays. Otherwise, I have to look at that horrible stuff. Okay. I've had gray hairs coming in since my early 20s. Now my daughter does, and she's really mad about it and says it's my fault. <laughs> she's a funny girl. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we need leaves. I'm just using the um, solid leaf in the pear pizzazz, and I'm just going to put some leaves wherever. So that's a good place for a leaf. And how about one right here? And then I'll do another one right over there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute already, isn't it? And I actually sit in my office by myself, and when I make something that's cute, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And my husband will be, who are you talking to in there? <laughs> Whatever to myself because sometimes we just need to talk about how cute it is. I'm going to erase that line just in case. I don't want anybody to see it. And now you got to get this face in here straight and get this out of the way. And there we go. Leave the bottom one up so you can kind of adjust it a little bit. <gasps> Super cute. Okay. Dimensionals on the back. Oh, did I put dimensionals on that? I don't think I did. I did not because we already have dimensionals on our vase. We don't want things to be getting too tall. Okay, next we've got the hello, hello, or hello. <laughs> and we're gonna stamp that on this little half inch piece. And I'm going to cut that off. I should have left this a little bit longer. Well, that, is that going to be okay? No. I'm going to redo this. Just hang on. We can do that, right? I'm going to stamp this so there's a little more on the left-hand side. There we go. Okay, that's better. Then I'm going to cut my little banner here. And I always make a slit in the middle and then come in from both corners. And that seems to work out pretty darn good for me. Okay, so this is going to go on the side. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Am I still in the frame, you guys? Um, Hockenberry green. <laughs> that sounds German. That would be okay, too. Heck, for all I knew, blueberries came from Germany. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna bring this in. One last thing. I've got the um, burlap ribbon here and I'm just going to cut off a piece of that and I have tear tape because I thought this would stick really good. I'm just gonna take a little piece of tear tape and I'm gonna put it right down here for the burlap and that's what's gonna hold, oops. Well, <laughs> would have been nice if I would have 
put it in the right place. How about that, Kelly? I'm just going to peel that off and do another piece. It's not going to hurt a thing. Tear tape. Okay, so this piece is going to come in right here. So I'm going to do my tear tape right there to hold that little burlap layer in place. So I'm going to do this. And... Oh, my base is crooked. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay, there we go. Oh, <laughs> okay, hang on. We need to put some glue on the back of here. I forgot about this. I thought I had dimensionals on here, but we decided not to do that. Here we go. <gasps> I got one more thing to do here. One more thing to finalize it. Let me get that out of there. And my base is crooked, so I'm gonna see if I can lift it up without destroying things. Those little dimensionals, they are very strong. And I just lifted it up and I'm gonna just push it over a little bit. There we go. Okay, last but not least, we need some pearls. And these pearls were laying out in my bin, so they're kind of a mess because they weren't in the package. I get lazy at my stamp clubs and I just throw stuff in my bin without putting it away. I know it's bad, but it happens. Okay, so you guys, what do you think of this? Isn't that just the sweetest? Ah, hello. Okay, um, oh, I was gonna show you another card, wasn't I? Yes, I was, I forgot, I am so sorry. Okay, so we made this one, right? Here's another one that I made, what do you think? Ta-da! I think I love both of them. I love how vivid that blue is. It is so absolutely beautiful. Blueberry bushel. I'm going to be calling it Blueberry Buckle. Hello, Paula from Wyoming. Welcome. Haley, what did you say? People are laughing at you. <laughs> Is she telling secrets? <laughs> Let me get this cleaned up, and I will bring all the cards back out here so we can see what we accomplished tonight. I can't hardly wait to start playing with some more of these bundles because I have a bunch of them. Oh, and uh, just put another order in in the new catalog. Holy cannoli. That will be coming. I always, almost always expedite my orders. So I'll be getting that, I think, on Tuesday. So I'll have a bunch of new stuff to show you again. Here's both of my varied vases. Oh, three varied vases, mind you. Am I in the screen? Uh, oh, Haley's talking about her gray hair. Hi, Kate Sicard. I'm so glad you could join us. Um, and then we have this beauty. Wasn't there another card too? One, two. Oh, I made three. Okay, I can, I can bring this one back in here. That was from Friday. That was just another pretty one. Don't forget about this little tip. Using the punch, that's kind of a jewel. I think the punch would be nice with um, the Stamparatus too. I think that's gonna be a good way to use it. Um, don't forget, if you're gonna put in an online order with me, please use this host code. That will get you special perks with me. I love spoiling my customers. And um, what else? What else can I tell you? Make sure you share my video. Um, if you're coming in later, please make sure you tell me where you're from if you haven't yet because all your comments get entered into a drawing. So when you comment, when you share, and when you place an order, I have three drawings every week and I have some great stuff to give away. So thank you so much, Judy. Such beautiful cards. They really are very summery, aren't they? And I love this whole deal because I showed you how simple that was. I'm a sucker for a fun fold. You guys know that. Here, I'll get this one out of here. I didn't make this one tonight. But yeah, so we've got abstract impressions and varied vases. 
two really great stamp sets. These are perfect for all your summer cards. Birthday, thank you, get well, get well. Who would want to get, this would be a great get well card. Isn't it just super for get well? I think so. All right, uh, you lower your cards. Oh, are, they're coming off the screen. Okay, I'm gonna pop them up here. Does that look better? Yep, see, I'm too zoomed in. That's what happens. I can't show you a lot when I'm so zoomed in. Um, does anybody have any questions that I missed? I do always go back through the comments and try to answer all of your questions. Um, sometimes I miss one here or there. And just be persistent because I'm I promise you I'm not ignoring you. I just so appreciate that you're coming to watch me. And um, spending a little of your Sunday evening with me makes me feel like the best thing in the world. It's just I can't believe so many people spend their Sunday night with me. I'm just flabbergasted by that. You know, when I started this Stampin' Up! journey, um, I was a stamper first. But then I, I bought the starter kit. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll do a class here and there. Because I, I like teaching people stuff. And uh, maybe I can earn some money to help pay for my habit, which was extensive. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, I'm kind of a little obsessive about things. So when I get into something, I get into something. Um, and I, I started out very small with, you know, one stamp group a month. And then word spread and it turned into two and then three and then four and then five and then six. And I think right now I have seven stamp clubs a month that I do. And this is the best job I've ever had in my entire life. I love my customers. I love creating. I love sharing ideas with them. Um, I'm a good caser. I can case stuff. Um, I'm really good at that. <laughs> but um, I really, I really am enjoying um, my full-time job. And even though sometimes I might grumble about it, I'd still rather sit and cut cardstock for hours than change out of my pajamas, which I might add, I was in until 6 p.m. tonight and go into an office to be at a job. So I just feel so very truly blessed to be able to do this as my full-time job. And then I'm very blessed to have all of you guys watching me. So I really appreciate that. Okay, so I saw somebody wanted um, wedding and shower cards. Okay, we all, where's my note? I gotta keep this note. Haley, we forgot to wish Jake a happy birthday. We are bad. <sighs> okay, wedding, shower. There's a new stamp set in the new catalog that is all about wedding showers. It is the cutest thing. Wedding and shower. Is there anything else? Somebody asked me last week to show um, a box card. And I can't remember who it was, but hang tight. I'm, I'll be back in a second. Um, I did show a box card the, like two weeks ago, my Facebook Live. Go back and watch that. Look at the cards on the front. This is a box card. If you've got a different box card in mind, let me know what it is. Um, pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above with a picture so I know what you're talking about. And I would be happy to research it and figure out how to do it and show it to you guys live next weekend. And again, I apologize for telling you I was going live at 6 o'clock. The 15 minutes, I'll be live in 15 minutes. I just messed up. Um, I had so many things going on today. Wedding card for an older couple. Well, hmm, that's a good idea. Um, yeah. Oh, Haley says get, get ready to make cute wedding cards for when I get married. <laughs> Uh, Melanie wants to know if you're hinting, Haley. Yeah, they are. I, I expect her to be engaged before the summer's over, so just know that. Pretty excited. Um, her boyfriend, Jared, is amazing, and we love him. And he she couldn't have picked a better guy. And, uh, yeah, we're very happy to be, you know, he's been in our family for a while now, and we're really happy to be welcoming him to the family legally pretty soon, I'm thinking. So we'll probably end up having some type of a wedding next summer. I better start getting ready now. All right, you guys. I think I don't have anything else to share with you tonight. I am going to keep working. I've got, oh, there's a blog hop tomorrow morning. It's at 8 or 9 o'clock. It goes live. Um, I am hopping with the color fusers. And we have, let's see, what did I do with my color combo? I'll show you here a little bit. 
I have Blackberry Bliss, Mint Macron, Tranquil Tide, and Grapefruit Grove. I have to use all four of these colors, and then we're allowed to use some neutrals, and I have to come up with something. So, before um, I had to go jump in the shower, because I was in my pajamas literally till 6 o'clock tonight, before I had to go do that, I was thinking about what I'm going to do with this, and I think I'm going to use the Sea of Textures bundle, and I will have a video tomorrow with a card using these colors. Not guaranteeing this, but I, I think it's a good possibility. All right, I think I am going to, oh, Tammy did um, an apron box card. Okay, well, if you have a link for that, could you email it to me? Um, Kelly at a stamp and I'd be happy to figure that out and make something using that box card. Cheryl, I am so glad you caught me live too. I hope you guys will join me next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Don't forget, share my video, share, share, share. Love you guys and really appreciate your watching my videos. Good night.